my big money. This man walk. Hey, real life street stars, man. We in here with Paperboy J, man, the young Rummy, man. What's good? Hey, man, what's good? What's up, what's up, with, what's up with the world? Man, definitely, definitely, man. Uh, before we even get started, uh, man, what I want to do is just first of all, let's just touch base on what do you guys do, man? What it is you guys are blessed with, man? For real. Say we blessed, man. We blessed, man, by doing this beautiful, man, this craft that we love so much, man. This music, man. Hey. Music, R and B, man. Just being entertainers, man, all together, man. That's and real. My brother, man. I'm talking about. He been best with me since day one, since I came home out of prison. But that's another story, man. But this, this is what we do, man. Payboy and T. That's what it is, man. Y'all run me, Payboy J, and a few others. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. That was with us. You know what I'm saying? When we first started this shit, man. Yeah. I'm gonna shout out to them because I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever keep no dr- no grudges and nothing like that, man. Shout out to La Prada. Shout out to TYP. Shout yeah. out to Young Spade. Shout out to AJE Greedy, man. He on lockdown right now, man. Free yeah. my boy, man. Salute to you. Uh, Young Trail and Jones YPC, man. And, and King Bishop, you know what I'm saying? That's been my whole squad since I touched down, man. And shout out to the, the DJ Ninja. Yeah, straight up, straight up. DJ Ninja. Hey, yeah, you know what it is, man. My boy, goddamn me, uh, Juwan, man. Uh, shout out to him. Um, yeah. And, and a lot of other people, man, that's always been, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's always had our back, man. Shout out to Young Big Rip, you know what I'm saying, Tri-Coastal Radio, man, Lou, Hype Block, man, my other partner, Lou Fortre, man, y'all know what this is, man. Man. Um, I mean, this is what we do, man. man. This is the craft that we really believe in, man, since I came home, man. Real talk. family been always holding me down, man, and I'm we just so blessed to do this, man. Real talk, and you, you done named a lot of names, man. So, uh, first of all, just let the people know where you coming from, man, where you, where you man, from. hold up, man, y'all know what this is, man. Don't make me stand up, man. Hey, hold up, man. Hold up, real hey. life. Hold up, that real life, man. Fort Worth, Texas, over here, man. Hey, goddamn me, Eastwood, man. Goddamn me, I'm an East Side nigga, man. Man, and, um, shout out to the A17, man. A1G, man. We be doing a lot of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? My brother, Young Rummy. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout yeah. out to the Boom. You know what I'm saying? We Boom Town now. You know what I'm saying? I guess we used to be Funk Town. Now we Boom Town. Yeah. But uh, man, uh, we booming now because um, that's a that's a great name because we are booming. Yeah, shout that's Total Lucci and them. Yeah, it's real talk, man. So, like, with that said, man, I mean, it's been a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, eyes and ears pointed at the funk, man, like, over the past couple of years, man. Y'all really doing it, man. What do you think it is that, you know, all of a sudden got Fort Worth this clout that it has now that these artists are really breaking really out of Fort Worth more so than possibly even Dallas now? What you feel about that, man? What you think got that going? Okay, first off, I mean, let me shout out to everybody in Dallas because I ain't never been no hater, ever. Um, Mo three man, salute to you, homeboy. Yeah. Uh, the road, Tom, Tom, DSR, etc. Man, you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, Lil Ronnie, all them. Uh, yeah. But hey, the funk is here though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Without question. You know what I'm saying. And uh, hey, we booming. You know what I'm saying. We the hottest thing jumping right now. 2016, end of 15, and 2016, we killing it. You know what I'm oh, um, nah, I ain't taking no disrespect and no talking down to nobody else, but hey, Funk Town, what that is, go yeah, yo, my nigga Little Runny, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They're my partners. Um, uh, shout out to Twisted Black, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Can't, I always gotta get homage to him because, you know what I'm saying? He always kept us hot, you know what I'm saying? Solo Lucci, really? even though, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing in Atlanta, though, but he came back to the Funk, you know what I'm saying? To put us back on and do what we do. Shout out to go yeah, yo, because you get a little more respect from yeah, yo, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to Lucci. Yeah. Because. The nigga stayed in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Real he tough. stayed in the funk. You know what I'm saying? Real tough. I'm not saying he had to, you know what I'm saying? Not, not like I said, no taking respect. You know what I'm saying? Lucy. I fuck with Foreign Money. You know what I'm saying? Ron Carr, goddamn me, King, yeah. goddamn me. All them niggas, you know what I'm saying? They know what it is over here, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. For real. Man. Um, but you know what it is, though. I would say, uh, being a Fort Worth artist, you know, um, and you ain't, it ain't got to be you in particular that you got to tell me how you feel, yeah, but yeah, yeah. as far as being a Fort Worth artist, what is the Fort Worth feeling towards the Dallas music scene, man? Like growing up and just even like right now. Okay, growing up, man, like in the funk, man, coming from the funk, man. I mean, me and my brother, man, we listen to a lot of Fort Worth DF stuff, man. We love our, you know what I'm saying? We love our, our Metroplex, you know what I'm saying? But I know, like, coming up, man, I, we was always on Dallas shit, you know what I'm saying? Come on, we love yeah. DSR, what that was, you know what I'm saying? DSR, goddamn me, it's on my screens, goddamn hey, me, when I was in middle school. My hey, when I, was on my, yeah. hey, when I was in middle school, nigga, we know what's up, my nigga Tom Tom, Big Tough, Fat Bastard, man, yeah, all them yeah. man. Say, Zero so we, crook. So we, yeah, for Square yeah, yeah. Business, man, so we stayed on them, you know what I'm saying? So we always loved Dallas music, man, the road music, man, we always loved them niggas, man. So it's real, little, man. Little, little running, we always loved them, but now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I we really heard too much for them now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're just chilling, counting their bread or whatever the case, whatever they doing. But like now, like funk since 
Lucci, yeah, yo, nigga, that kicked that door like, all the way in. All the way in. For the funk to come kick in that door, you know what I'm saying? All the way in. We going in, shout out to my nigga, yeah, yo, that fire. My yo. boy, Wooda Man, Regulate. I love Texas, you know what I'm saying? God damn me, pay boy Jay. We got that I can't do it. God damn me, right, bunch of that. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. When you get money, Angel and YPC, Young Trill, like, it's shit going in. We going in. Like, yeah, y'all going we in. We got a trip. Y'all, y'all going in with them visuals too out there, man. Well, for I'm real, man. You, y'all giving them World visuals. Star Hip Hop Pay Boy NT. We out there for yeah, real, man. man. Like yeah. niggas talking down. Like niggas talking like, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm that. But what are you investing in yourself? Yeah, and we gonna. Nigga, t- you ain't putting no money in yourself. Yeah, right. we gonna touch on that World Star Hip Hop situation for before, real. before we do that. Um, let's uh, first of all, let's just jump on the names, man. Paperboy J, man. How'd you get that name, man? Okay, Paperboy J. Okay, man. I've had my name for like almost five years, man, because I used to switch it up when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga BZB, man. Like, we met in Maryland, because I'm a military brat. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Hood nigga, nigga for so though, believe that. Moving around, but yeah. But military brat, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't deny what my daddy is, you know what I'm saying? He's always been in the military 25 years. And my partner, uh, BZB, man, out there in North Carolina right now, uh, he was like, hey, man, do you rap? And I was like, man, who the fuck is you? You know what I'm saying? This white boy talking to me like, who the fuck is you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? He didn't, he had grown it to my brother. You know what I'm saying? And I was in Maryland. My brother's down here in Texas. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, do you rap? And I was like, yeah, I rap. You know what I'm saying? I had did my first mixtape called Post Boys because we lived on Post. You know what I'm saying? Which was on the base. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was, it was good. Everybody in high school, they knew who we was. All kind of girls knew who it was. Wink, wink. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> So we obviously we sound kind of good if we you know what I'm saying get on the girls and everybody liking us, and and from then on from since eighth grade to now, I've been doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, yeah. It's back in the day. What about and you? I was always switch up my name for. I used to be J Rock, J Moon, and then I was like, well, fuck, I'm gonna stay with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Paperboy J because I'm the CEO of Paperboy Entertainment. Now I'm licensed. Now my name licensed. You know what I'm saying? My label licensed. So I want to do this. I'm gonna be Paperboy J. The first to be out of Paperboy NT from the phone. So that's how that shit came. Well, yeah, shit, Young Rummy man. Uh, how, how you how, how you come around with that name, man? Man, damn, man. First time I heard that name. See, I was a kid who enjoyed the better thing. You know what I'm saying? Other than J's and you know what I'm saying bullshit like jewelry and shit. Yeah, shit. I'd invest in skateboards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Converse or some bullshit. I probably buy like. The same different kind of shoe, but in different kind of varieties. You know what I'm saying? And everybody used to say, "Hey, man, that's some white boy shit." Yeah. And then I had driving to the point. I used to watch the Boondocks a lot. Real and then shit. one day I was watching with my ex girlfriend. She was like, "You know what, baby? You real white too, but you black though. You hood nigga." Though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the nigga from um, Boondocks, the white nigga named Jim Rummy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tripped out, shot on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Was wild cat, but he was white. Real shit. But it looked like he was a hood nigga. So people just based me on like, "Hey, man, you know what?" You a white dude on the inside, but you black nigga. Yeah. Bro. And we know yeah. you like we didn't yeah. see you day one, bro. So you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like Jen Rummy, bro. Oh, they gonna feel that. Real shit, real yeah, shit. Yeah, man. It's just the point blank truth, man, cause you know, you got a lot of cats who come out here and try to front and be something that they ain't. Yeah. Yeah. But when you got individuals who step out and try to be better than what, you know what I'm saying, was out there in the horizon, niggas get jealous. Real talk, real so, talk. You know, man, it is. so with that said, man, that kinda, you know, segues into that conversation as far as, you know, putting your life into your music, man. How much of your life is put into your music? I'm gonna ask you young woman first and then Paperboy, you feel back up with that. Uh, yeah. How much of your life do you put in your music actuality I, or how much do you kind of, you know, try to not say fabricate, but kind of, you know, maybe upscale a little bit? Like genuinely uphold, like most of my my rap music, it tells truth about, you know what I'm saying? What we didn't been through, you know what I'm saying? As yeah. a black people, a community, a race, you know what I'm saying? Cops and all that, you know, the the stereotypical kind of things. Yeah. But if I write R&B music or write some rock music for somebody, you know, I can put all kind of stuff, you know, have you spilling your guts and emotions and like make you cry or some shit. Right it's sure. just about knowing the different strains and the different loops and turns, you know, of how things work as in the business. But right you can sure. make so much money here but we can make way more money here. You know what I'm saying? True. Yeah, 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 tell us about the substance of your music, man. What's the substance of it, man? What kind of kicks you off as far as putting your, you know, what are you putting into your music, man? Is it your life or your, you know, just people, what's going on around you? Tell us what what you, uh, how how your music kicking off, man. First of all, man, I've been through a lot of shit. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the liquor talking, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, really, hey, spit that. They say, you know what I'm saying? A sober man got that me lies when they're saying when a drunk man tells the truth. Real I'm shit. pretty much drunk, so I'm gonna tell that all. Get him. So 
I've been through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been a military brat, you know what I'm saying? But mind you, it ain't all that military shit ain't all peaches and cream. I've been beat, you know what I'm saying? When I was little, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying, my stepmother's name, but you know what I'm saying? I've been beat when my father would be out there working yeah. and grinding and do what he does to provide for us, you know what I'm saying? But music, music, you know what I'm saying, always kept me at bay, you know what I'm saying? My brother, man, Xavier, man, ex Zay, man, you know what I'm saying, D Stan, man. My brother, young Rummy, right here, always kept me at bay. Like, hey, it's gonna be all right, bro. You gonna make a way, blah, 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 blah. And when I came home, I was like, man, say, when I get out here, just hustling, man. Y'all ain't gotta worry about nothing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? My brother was going to college. He ain't had to worry about nothing. If he needs some money for books, man, he can always call me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here hustling, man. Whatever you, I got you. Yeah. Oh man, bro, I need two hundred dollars, bro, so I get these books. All right, but go to the such and such. I sent you a thousand dollars. Yeah, you know what real. I'm saying, man. Shout out to my brother, Young Trail, man, and everybody that put me on and shit like that, man. But you know what I'm saying? I was always out there wilding and do whatever. That, but my music, man. Yeah. The music now, man, is it, always speak about real life and what I've done in the past. You know what I'm saying? I don't glorify a lot of things, man. But some of the things, I'm not gonna lie, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? It was fun while it lasted, but when I didn't get caught, you know what I'm saying? Real but, shit. <laughs> real but, shit. But you know what I'm saying? Of course, you are gonna have fun when you didn't get caught. But at the same time, you always, have, I always had my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, young Rummy's like, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be doing this. I'm like, hey, man, I got eight grand. What you want? What kind of car you want? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? I pulled up in the Porsche Carrera, but what you want? Real talk. He's Real telling talk. me, nah, bro, nah, bro. I don't want that. Man. I don't want to get it like that. You man, know what I'm saying? And I was, and in some ways, I was like, man, what the hell is that? Why, why you don't want this, man? Anybody gonna tell me about this? But I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way he want to do it. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And his life don't puncture with the life I'm living. Real you talk. know what I'm saying? And I salute him in that. And when I got locked up, Rami was there for me. Yeah. Always there for me, man. And it it wasn't much, but hey, it was much to me. Real tough. Ten dollar five. I don't give a damn. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I always, man. My him and my brother, uh, partner King Bishop, man, T Lady, man. They always came through for me, man. And I salute to them. But my my, my music I do, man, is always been real life experience. I don't talk about. Oh yeah, I was doing this in the club. I was doing money like mm -hmm. this in the club. No, yep, nigga, I was yep. doing that, nigga. Yeah. So every nigga from Fort Worth, nigga, they mm -hmm. knew me, nigga. Real shit. With that said, is it more so? Is it more so you being a hustler that, you know, rap on the side or you being one, you know, when you want to be a rapper that hustle to, you know, get to your means, which one more was it? Okay, right now, what, well now it's all, I'm, I'm a hustler trying to get to my means because I got so much lined up. I got, I got a little girl on the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Real shit. I got a family, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I got a little baby on the way. I'm trying to provide for her. You know what I'm saying? And, but back then, nigga, rapper was just rapping. Right. Cause I was rapping when I was hustling. You right. know what I'm saying? We was B-U-B, -B, you know what I'm saying? Bottom up boys, you know what I'm saying? Little shit, me and my partner from, uh, like I said, from North Carolina, B-Z-B -Z -B was, you know what I'm saying, I came up with. And we was doing that. But like I said, when I got out and I was like, well, damn, I should have put all that money I was doing hustling into this shit. Real shit. I would have been on by now. <laughs> hey, for real. Nigga, I'm getting eight right bands way. a week, nigga. I should have been on. Real but, talk. But that's just how that shit go when you young and dumb yep. and you get yep. so much bread, you don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I'm telling you, I had, I got two apartments, five yeah. cars. Now, I'm not, I'm, my cars, I'm not counting my girl car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, pay, I asked to pay for her tuition in UTA. Yeah, you trying you know to get to saying? this level, boy. So I'm just doing to get too to. much. Yeah. But I'm just doing it because it's fun. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Shit. Just so I can say, I did that. No, like, no lie, this dude had enough money. I used to drive this fucking Volvo every other day, and he never realized that shit. For yeah. real? Like, <laughs> exactly. Nigga, I didn't give a fuck. Nigga didn't know his car was gone. Yeah, didn't even know his car was gone. You out <laughs> touring around somewhere else and shit. You don't know. <laughs> like, I'm over there in the Roadmaster with nose up 26s. I'm in the air. You know what I'm saying? And he in the Volvo riding around. You know what I'm saying? This, I'm, bro, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But at Man. the same time, hey, ain't nobody got to worry because Paperboy J came through. You know what I'm saying? My mama yeah. came through. You know what I'm saying? And he came through. I, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Hey bro, you need some money? Nah, bro, okay, but if you need something, I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real so, tough. So, it was, it, was, it was all good, my nigga, but 
big change. It was big change before the little change. You understand? Real talk. Before little change was the fashion. It's like little Chris said, bro. When the money get bigger, the change get smaller, bro. That's all that. Real is. shit. Don't worry real. about all that. That's real, real shit, shit, man. Man, and coming up like that. So what? What would be y'all like motivation, man? I'm gonna let y'all eat y'all answer. But uh, what was yeah. your what was your musical motivation? You know what I'm saying? That motivated you to get into the rap game, and plus also just either get out here hustling, either just you know just just keeping you you know keeping you on your grind. You know what I'm saying? Who'd you uh, who influenced you back then? Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely go first, man. Look, but shit, hold on. Let me take a sip of this. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Run was good, man. Yeah. yeah. Ask the damn. Shout out to your trip, put me on the shit. Yeah. But uh like my motivation, man, is like now music it's wise. Just straight maze it's just straight family, man. Okay, yeah. I wanna see That's... my family right, man. I wanna see my family not struggling, man. That's real. Cause you know what I'm saying, I live in the house right now, you know what I'm saying? Me and my brother live in the house, you know what I'm saying? My grandma left, you know what I'm saying? Hey, baby sis. When you got home, you got a job to keep it stable. Baby, you can have this house. And I'm like, okay, cool. Me and my brother leaving the house, man. Shout out to my cousin, CSG. You know, shout out to my CSG niggas. Uh, but my cousin, you know what I'm saying, young Al, man, he he trying to find his way and shit like that. But man, we we here as family. And my grandma was like, hey, you got have this house, but I just want to do this shit for my family, man, because I don't want to see my family struggle. Nobody wants to see this family from yeah, struggle. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Real life production. Y'all do this shit for your family. Real you know shit. What I'm y'all pay bills off this shit. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want my, my daughter coming into this world to have to worry about anything. That's you know real. what I'm saying? I don't want her to know about my past, but if she knows about it, I want her to know that I did this because it it made me the man I am today. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's real. It made me the, who the man I am today and um and in more ways than one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't I can't be like how I used to be on a short fuse. Not, Fight a nigga, feeding, beat a nigga, blah 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 blah, whatever case. But yeah. now I could be like, "Well, shit, I can whoop this nigga ass." <laughs> but then there's consequences to that. Real shit, cause and effect. Well, if man. I get locked up, this and that, well, I can't see Ava, which is my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I can't see Orlando or Carlos, Real which tough. is my sons. You know what I'm saying? I can't see them. I can't see Young Rumby right here Real because tough. I'm locked up. You know what I'm saying? There's always a choice on what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of young niggas don't understand, like. You know what I'm saying? I was young too, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, hey, you niggas need to understand, like, hey, whatever the fuck you niggas doing, you gotta understand, nigga, your family pay for that shit. Yeah. So if you get locked up, or if you got kids, them kids don't understand, oh, well, my dad was out there thugging. Yeah, tell. Well, I know my dad wasn't there. You see what I'm saying? So I do this shit, man, but make sure they okay, and that if they choose to go to college or four-year college to play ball, Daddy got that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or if my brother decided he want to fuck this rap shit and go to college, man, nigga, he got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Same thing for my family. If they want to go to business, nigga, Payboy J got that. Man. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and uh, I would say, uh, and that's pretty much what motivates a lot of people out here too, family. And uh, Young Rum, you seem like you got a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a good head on your shoulders as far as coming up, you know what I'm saying, looking, getting a lot of inspiration from your bro. Um, like who influenced you as far as coming up, you know what I'm saying, to you know, do this and you know, keep your head on strong and try to, you know, uh with the R and B and everything, writing and all that. Uh, I wanna say more than anything, as far as music and coming up, just it's just what you hear on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, you hear certain tracks like Drake or Nicki Minaj or Beyonce with whatever they doing new. Yeah. You think to yourself, Hey, why ain't I doing that? You know, I could probably do the same thing, maybe even better. If I had the time or the motivation to go ahead and do the thing. Yeah. So what I thought was, I didn't recently start rapping until my brother had got out, you know. So, you know, that's pretty much the goal right there. You know, that's like that's like the president right here, you know. So whatever he said, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be right there to the side. You know what I mean? I'm the right so, hand, you know. And just be confidentially, you know what I'm saying, motivated by, you know what I'm saying, the drive and what he, you know what I'm saying, putting off. And off that aura, you know, you can ride along or you can get out the way. Hell yeah. So pretty Hell much yeah. I chose to ride along, you know, and with me trying to help, you know what I'm saying, you know, put the name out there, you know what I'm saying, you can converse between two, three, four, five, six different genres, you know what I'm saying, and try to make something possible yeah. other than, other than you know, just trying to, you know, just be out here being a fake nigga, talk about some shit you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, like that. Yeah. And that shit ain't what's good, you know what I'm saying, it ain't what's popping these days. And from overall, bro, it's just the stuff we see every other day, Trayvon Martin, all these other kids, black yeah, kids sure. getting murdered, you know what I'm saying? Cops getting away scotch-free. 
Real it's shit. just what you see every day. You know what I'm saying? And in our neighborhood, ain't ain't shit new under the sun, bro, at Real all. Shit. And just just being able to reflect positively, Real not shit. how have nigga in every other two sentences. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Real that's shit. And with that said, just to touch on that, um, with the whole Black Lives Matter movement, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Everything yeah, that's Black going on Lives US Matter. Matter. Yeah, yeah, man. Black tell girls it, yeah, do rock. I want to hear, I wanna hear what each of y'all as far as, you know, what personal experience you may have had from Trayvon to Sandra Blount. What personal experience kind of made you feel like, man, it's getting kind of out of hand now. And man. tell us how it affects your music and whatnot. Man. My personal experience, um, I was actually, as uh, my brother Jay told you earlier, I was, um, we were at a nightclub one time for yeah. a show, oh, and I got hit up by the cops. So yeah. at that time, I was like, you know, I can understand, you know, you come in here and you, you know what I'm saying, card me and everything, because, you know, I look underage, but I'm actually like 23 on the verge of going to 24, yeah. you know, and I, I get that a lot. You know, I ain't tripping yeah. on that. I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, flashing a little piece of pass. You know what I'm saying? That's small things to a giant, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. and all and over, you know what I'm saying, in general, you know what I'm saying, my, I got partners that ain't got, you know what I'm saying, iced and, you know what I'm saying, rubbed out, but just some stupid shit. And then, you know, it was just, it could have been all been prevented if, you know what I'm saying, cops weren't so fucking scary, you know what I'm saying, just all in general. Like, we see Trayvon Martin, we see all this other stuff. I seen videos of a man getting strangled to death, you know, big man, big yeah. black man, you know, just get strangled yeah, yeah, yeah. to death. Oh, yeah, and Michael then Brown, just, man. You know what I'm Michael saying? Brown, like, yeah. But things like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just reality in the world that we live in today, you know? It's just. And being young, growing yeah, up in this and, world, and you it's you crazy. See that, crazy and you that, see that, you know, and you try to mold your mind to block that out. Real but time. it ain't gonna happen because the real the reality of the world we live in is too it's too gray real beyond time. black and white it's gray you know and for us to shed any light on anything you know what i'm saying we gotta you know what i'm saying i ain't saying give back because niggas have been saying that shit for years and we still in the same boat bro like yeah. real shit real but shit. it's just what you can you know what i'm saying you can put that's gonna make it feed back to others you know what i'm saying i i got niggas that listen to tracks i make on the side as well as with Paperboy and them, you know what I'm saying? Just the Paper whole Paperboy game. Yeah. Like, like, nigga, you, yeah, nigga, that shit sound right, bro. Why you ain't did this? Why you ain't did that? Because niggas don't want to hear all that shit these days. I hear you. I it ain't hear you. about building the people no more. It's about stacking money and riding high. Yeah. And then fucking yourself over in the long run. That's yeah. all it is yeah. these days. Gotta get that business right, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, but just, I just try to be positive at all things. I mean, I may not look like I'm going nowhere, but... Eventually, I know I'm a fly, so. That's real, man. Yeah. And Paperboy, as far as, man, you even going in, man, having to do a sit down, man, having to do a bid, man, how did that affect your music, man, as far as going in, what you learn on the inside, you know what I'm saying, what you not gonna do, what you, what it teach you, you know what I'm saying, coming out with this uh, music thing, man? It made me wanna listen more. Yeah. Like, man, my brother, Young Rummy, will tell you, man, Paperboy J didn't want to hear nothing. If it wasn't about the straight paper, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear nothing, nigga. I'm, I'm making eight bands a week. If it ain't about the money. A week, nigga. Shit. A month, nigga. A week, nigga. Shit. Eight to 10 a week, nigga. Nigga, I spent 15 cash on a Porsche, nigga. Carrera, nigga, turbo. Like, you can't tell me shit, nigga. You for you ain't making it. Shit. But at the same time, it's like, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? At that time, I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm young, I'm 18, nigga, I'm invincible, this and this and that, I wanna be rich, blah, 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 blah. Nigga, a lot of these niggas just talk that shit like, nigga, before I was 21, nigga, I hit 220, 230K, nigga. Yeah. You niggas talk that shit, nigga. I hit 220K, nigga. Oh, yeah. So, nigga, (laughs) it was nothing, nigga, like, that's just, that's my cash, nigga. This one, what I spent on my cars, on my jewelry. Yeah, that's just. On the houses I had, on the, on the apartments I had. Pocket change. You know what I'm saying? I paid to pay my girl tuition, nigga. Her tuition, 80000 Real shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that wasn't shit, nigga. And, hey, this the man that was out, that was out here, that know all this shit. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Young Trail, you know what I'm saying? And my ex, you know what I'm saying? They know about all this shit. Her mama, nigga, I put them on nigga 30 bands a piece, nigga. Here you go. go. Yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? But I got fucked when I came home. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She had a baby on me, whatever. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who I am since I've been gone five years on the 10, 10 big. You know what I'm saying? I did half. Did you expect so her? I, did you like, expect her to hold it down, man? I did. Yeah. I did. She held it down. I ain't gonna lie, she did. She, she knew you was getting out of five, or she uh, she thought you had a longer sentence. 
Um, she thought I had a longer sentence. Ah, I see. But it was like, it be like. Well, I don't know if this nigga come home or not. Yeah, it be like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and and like I said, I can't blame her. I can't fault her. Yeah. Salute so her and her dude, whoever she fucking with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I came home, I thought that it was gonna be good. I was like, hey, baby, it's gonna be us. We're gonna yeah. do this. And I'm gonna work at nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, come on to a, I, I did come that. On to a different yeah. world. I, I did that. Yeah, I came home and I did that. And at the same time, I was like, "Hey, man, are you fucking with somebody else? Yeah, just please tell me the truth." Yeah, and she did. She told me, "Hey, I'm doing this. Deal. I'm woo, woo, woo. okay, cool. I'm gonna see other people, and we're gonna get to know each other a little better. That's because good. when when you're gone five years, eight years." I mean, even two years, people really don't know where your mind is because True. you've been in prison. True. So a lot of shit can happen. Niggas getting stabbed, niggas getting raped, yeah. etc. Yeah, yeah. So niggas don't know you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm just still the same guy. Man, if I say I get out of prison five years, 10 years, and I still say I'm the same guy, you're gonna be like, nigga, nigga please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You done seen some crazy shit in there. So nigga, I know you ain't the same nigga. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Ivy, I look from young Rummy over here like, man, nigga, shit. Yeah, I know you just hey, You shit. ain't the same Jay, I know. You know what I'm saying? That's real. But though. I understand that because I ain't been five, been around five years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's when the nigga like put in his mind like, you got to put this shit together. Like, hey, um, you got to like, hey, I'm this person. I've bettered myself. I've learned from this. And that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? So... With that being said, it's just all about how a person wants to carry himself. Definitely, man. Uh, with that said, man, let's definitely get on this music, man. Uh, you didn't, you didn't mess with a few artists out here in Dallas, man. Tell us about those, uh, those features and whatnot, man. Oh, say okay. Yeah. Look, DF Dub, man, y'all know what it is. Okay, I was supposed to fuck with the row, the row music. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to row. Got Ro that prime time click. Shout out prime time. And we were supposed to set up a little venue, man. I ain't gonna say his name, but we were supposed to. Locked that up and it never happened. You know what I'm saying? We was gonna to make a song called um, um, Get It In. You know what I'm saying? Get It In. You know what I'm saying? But it never came across because, you know what I'm saying? My little connected, whatever. Like I said, I ain't gonna say his name, but it never happened. And I was like, I was fucked up because I'm like, man, this the raw music. You know what I'm saying? He did this song yeah. with Yo Gotti, Nipsey, so, so, so. so it's a big break for me. You know what I'm saying? So it never happened. Yeah. And I was like, Damn, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was really looking forward to DF Dub turning up. You know what I'm saying? But it never happened. But I end up doing songs with my nigga um, Record Beats. You know what I'm saying? Record Beats done did songs with Diamond, with uh, yeah. uh, with Mob Deep. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, Mob, uh, Mob. Uh, I forgot who it is. Mob, Mob of them and uh, uh, and very other artists. You know what I'm saying? I, did, too, right? I got that nigga on several tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He a worldwide artist. He did Chris mm -hmm. songs for Tiger, Breezy. Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Uh, Etc. You know what I'm saying? Record beats is what that is. You know what I'm yep, saying? Yep. And I got a song with uh, J.O. about to come out called A Bust Down. And yep. I got a song called Woody Man called Get Him Lord. Them niggas like, in the full work, them the hottest niggas in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I fuck with them niggas. And plus my little brother, Young Rummy, bunch of that, produced by Record Beats. Record on the beat. And he hey. the top, one of the top uh, uh, artists slash producers in full work. And Shout out to my nigga Jonathan Stewart. I don't know if you ever heard of the nigga, but yeah, he was Jonathan, up in, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he blessed him, the couch, him and Ron Carr. Shout out him Ron, Ron Carr. Carr. Yeah, Shout out to the guy Stewart, Ron Carr, Jonathan Stewart. You know what I'm saying? And them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Jonathan Stewart, he always keep me on my shit. Yeah. Like, hey, Pepe Boy Jay, I don't think you should do that. Pepe Boy Jay, I think you should do this, do this, and that. And I always, always call the nigga like when he, when he, we shot that video for um, when you get money. He was always like, hey. I think we should do this. We do that. He's a co-director. Shout out to him. Yeah. Um, and he was always, hey, you need to do this because I was always laughing on my scenes. Like yeah. I was laughing because I'm a goofy nigga. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Real I shit. like to have fun. This and this that. But it's time to be serious. It's time to be goofy. But real he was shit. like, hey, Boy J, say this shit real deal. My nigga can't be goofing around. Like, and I was like, hey, I did my shit. Check this out. Um, when you get money, where's our hip hop? Check that out. Yeah. And you can see why I'm like, I'm dead serious. Like. But I'm not a serious ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Unless some shit go down, but it was just like, damn, man, I'm doing this shit, but you know what I'm saying? This nigga John Stu, like, hey, this is what you're trying to sell to the people. 
that's right. You doing your business, you doing your craft, you take this shit serious. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And he kind of grinded me, and I was like, I got this shit. Real you know what shit. I'm and Real shit. he helped me a lot with that. Salute to my nigga, Salute, man. Nah, man, that video throwed I mean, as uh, hell, man. Jonathan Stewart. J- yeah, Jay Stewart, man. That video is throwed as hell, man. Uh, uh, getting money, man. World star, man. How, how, how does it feel, you know what I'm saying, to be part of that uh, world star hip hop movement, man, with a quality video out of the funk, man, putting on for the city, man? How does it feel to see it out there for the world to see? Hey, man, I was happy. Shout out to my nigga nephew, n- n- nephew, bro. Say, yeah. my nigga came through on that shit. Yeah. Um, it was live, man. It was yeah, so niggas, live, man. My yeah, nigga, y'all niggas out there from the there. house, man. Y- was out there. Yeah, 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 shit, yeah, yeah, my niggas on the hoverboard, hoverboards out there. We had the drone there. in the air. Yeah, the shit. drones going, hoverboards. Hey, that shit was live, man. They had a new Camaro and all that good shit, man. Yeah. And it was live, man. It's a good I look, bro. It. It's a good look, man, for real. I loved it, y'all. Like, like I tell you earlier, like, a lot of niggas be talking about, oh, yeah, I'm doing this in the city. I'm not Pulling hottest up nigga in, in the and city. I'm doing that. Like, yeah, nigga, what the yeah. fuck is you doing? Yeah. You ain't investing in yourself, nigga. That's real. That's like weird. you got this hot song, but why you put no video to this shit? So motherfuckers know you in Fort Worth. They know you in Dallas. Well, how come they don't know you in California, Florida, New York, yeah. West, Washington? I don't know you there. So nigga, Get I, out the I made the choice. You know what I'm saying to put this shit in world stars. So everybody know who the fuck I am. And, you gonna get the grief, nigga. Yeah, yeah, hell hey, yeah. Hey, man, who the fuck this nigga think he is? Oh, fat ass nigga, yeah. skinny <laughs> ass nigga, yeah. bald headed hey. ass nigga. But nigga, that comes with hate. world star nigga. But hey. I guarantee you, that same motherfucker that was talking shit, I bet they watch that motherfucking that video. Bitch. Same nigga liking man, that, really. I I like on they, that motherfucker. They hit that like button. That's you know really, what I'm man. saying? So I'm privileged and I'm honored for the nigga who hating on this shit and the same nigga that liking this shit, you know what I'm saying? That's and really. and I'm grateful, man, for the craft I'm doing, man, that motherfuckers recognize what I'm doing, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Real Cause shit. without success, there would be no hate. Man, and with that said, man, just cause I wanna, I just wanna make sure that people know how to find you know, y'all information, how to get y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. G- give us those drops as far as how to find y'all, the AOLs, the, yeah, Robert, let the know Gmails, the, the Instagrams, I wanna know about that social media contact, man. Yeah, man, you can find me, uh, yeah, well, shit, I ain't even gonna say Young Remy, uh, Shan Gone Mad Nation, capital G-M-N, that's just my rock group on the side, but other than that, man, it's always been Paperboy and all that stuff, so you can just go to Paperboy J, Facebook, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all know where y'all can find me on the Facebook, Jerron Robinson on Facebook, because nowadays, they want you to have your real name on Facebook. Real shit. <laughs> Real shit. Hey, yo, man, shout out to Go Yeah Yo. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, they want you to have your real name. So, Jerron Robinson, J A A J U A R O N R O B E R T S O N. Jerron Robinson, that's my legal name. And SoundCloud, Payboy J. Mm-hmm. Instagram, Payboy J Boss. Uh, Twitter, Payboy J. Y'all fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Ever since I put that shit on World Star, man, I get making calls from Florida. Wisconsin, Baltimore, New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to um, Big Trio. Uh, yeah. If y'all don't know, that's Project Pack manager. Project Pack, you know what I'm saying? Chicken uh, head, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. That's his manager. He hit me up, you know what I'm saying? He been wanting to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ Hollywood. He fuck with me. Shout out to DJ Panic, DJ Ron. Yeah. These niggas fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? They got my Batman shit rotation in heavenly. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when the bread comes yeah. in, these niggas know what's up. But yeah. anyway, um, that's where you can find me on the social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, um, um, uh, yeah, just, yeah, just all that shit, man. Tell you know them, uh, the tell them about the um about the project you about to drop, man. Oh, check this out. The new project will be dropping. Okay, self driven two. I will be dropping that in August. Okay, well worth the wait. We'll be dropping in July. Shout out to my nigga Young Trio. Shout yeah. out to my nigga Ann Jones YPC. Shout out to my brother right here, Young Rummy. You know what I'm saying? It will be dropping in July. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? May 14th, I mean, we gonna be recording like heavily. I'm talking about heavy. Shout out to my nigga DJ Finn, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? My niggas at their club right now. Putting in work. Places. Y'all know what it is, man. Aquarium Lounge. This is what we do, my nigga. Shout out to, salute to my nigga Uncle Scott, man. Uh, um, 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 my nigga Big Rip yeah. and Hype Block. Rip, Rip. 
What's up, my nigga? Both lose. Salute to y'all. Real and this is what we're doing, man. Real life production, man. Y'all see this shit, man. Man, definitely, man. Well, we definitely appreciate y'all coming through and man. Blessing yeah, us always, on this always, couch, man. No for problem, real, no man. For real. Hit her on to now, you. man. You definitely are some real life three stars, man. For Young Grumman, man. Paperboy J, man. We salute, man. Hey, for real. Yo. Yeah, for real, man. Say, hey, real life, they didn't even hear us till now. When they heard that music, that nigga love that shit. So love what it. you think the world gonna think about this shit, man? For real. Shit, real I know the shit. white kids gonna go crazy for it. Hey, yo. Yo, though. Throw that chain on that nigga. I love, man. Oh Lord, Say, man. my nigga, you know what I'm saying? The life that you live, my nigga, ain't the always life that you've been chose, my nigga. Remember mm. that. Real Make shit. your own path. Right, Bad, right. man, we on one. Yo.